Okay, so our first live, proper live stream, steady live stream. I'm gonna be coming to you a little bit more personally. Um, we've done a few trial live streams and uh, this is something new for us. So, you know what, let's, let's go out with this and we're gonna do something a little bit differently today. Today... <laughs> Okay, so our first live, proper live stream, steady live stream. I'm gonna be coming to you a little bit more personally. Um, we've done a few trial live streams and uh, this is something new for us. So, you know what, let's, let's go out with this and we're gonna do something a little bit differently today. Today, uh, I'm gonna to do a multi-part, first of a multi-part series in basic muscular activation techniques. So you're gonna see me doing some movements. I'm gonna explain what I'm doing so that you can learn it all so you can understand what's going on. Really simple stuff. And what we're gonna get into is initial basic muscular movements. So it's only gonna be a short video today. Uh, we're also gonna have this video available on our, um, on our YouTube channel later on to view. So Twitch only runs these videos for a certain period of time and then they fall off. So you will be able to get to watch this later stage as much as you want. Alrighty, we should be good, good for this. All right, so the first movement I'm gonna teach you is what's called a Superman. Now we're gonna do this uh, in a basic Superman form and then we're gonna do this as an alternating Superman and the, there is a purpose behind it. So I'm gonna do the exercise first and I'm gonna explain it as I go. So laying down on your stomach, Okay, so we want to start with arms stretched out in front of us. I'm gonna come all the way back here. Arms outstretched. And on a normal Superman, we lift all four limbs up and hold. So you're gonna hold that position and you're gonna hold it for about 10 seconds. And you want the legs to come up at around the hips, but you want the torso and stomach and the hips still on the ground. And then drop. So that's a standard Superman. You're gonna usually do about three or four of those probably in a set for about 10 seconds each. Then we're gonna take that to an alternating Superman. And the reason why we do an alternating Superman is we wanna remove imbalances left and right. We wanna teach the body to remove its autopilots and make sure we're getting good left and right muscular activation. So we're gonna change that up to, so right arm, left leg only. Up and hold, and hold that for about 10 seconds. I know some of you are seeing the tops of my head right now. And down, and we're gonna go left arm, right leg. So we're gonna do a posing. Never do the same, we always do opposing limbs. Uh, reason for that is you want the opposing muscular activation. And we wanna teach the body, because it want, your body wants to run the same side, you wanna remove that autopilot. Okay, so that's Superman, and then an alternating Superman. So the whole point of those movements is to get your mid-back, glute, intramuscular activation and communication working and remove the autopilots and imbalances. Okay, so what we'll do next, this around. Now, with those alternating Superman, you'll usually do three or four, maybe five, with 10 second hold on each. So the alternating one, for example, you will do maybe six, so three per side. Uh, a lot of my clients have a specific program and that will teach them how many they need to do within each set. So we've done the back, now we're gonna work on front, we're gonna work on core, and dead bug is a really good way to get that, again, that imbalance and that left and right uh, activation going correctly. So dead bug is nice and simple. Laying down on your back, Arms outstretched directly above you and legs at 90 degrees. And in this movement, we're going to simply again opposing limbs, dropping right arm, left leg down, touch the ground, and back up while the other two limbs remain. And then swap. Continue to breathe, breathe steady. Now, one of the things that I find interesting about this move is that people actually have a lot of trouble coordinating their limbs and getting this right. Um, it does take time, it's not one of those movement patterns that you can get immediately. It's not gonna happen immediately. 
does take time to get that right. And that's because of your body's autopilot. It wants to shift certain muscles on its own. And you've got to mentally force that activity and that control so it removes that. All right, so we can actually change that around and we can make that a little bit, it's a combination of easier and more difficult. I'm just gonna pop over here. So with that dead bug, we can actually make that a little bit trickier, but at the same time, it's actually a little bit easier because you're giving some certain limbs something to do. And we can add the fit ball into that movement. Now you want it just touching the knees and you want your forearms on the ball, not your hands, incorrect. You want forearms. So we're gonna hold that ball in place and we're gonna drop opposing limbs again. Now up. Breathing steady, you want to maintain that breathing. Okay? Fit ball is so good for that sort of stuff. So, with a dead bug, you usually want to do something like um, 10 to 12 movements in a set, usually three or four sets. That's, that's your basic activation. Usually about three sets is enough to get the core going. It really works abdominal because you're working that opposing muscular movement and it's an isometric hold on one side and then a contraction on the other. So it's actually a really good movement to do. So we're moving to the next one. So this is gonna work intraneural muscular, muscularly there. Okay, let's try that again. So this next one is going to neuro neurologically, I'm really having trouble speaking this morning. It's very early in the morning. Actually, it's not that early. Uh, so. Next one is gonna work that neurological muscular connection again and that stability, okay? And it's called a bird dog. And again, it's gonna try and remove those left and right imbalances and that decent activation movement. So up on hands and knees. Keeping that back nice and tight. I don't want you to arch your back, curve your back the wrong way. You want a nice straight, solid back and keep that core active. And in this position, we're going to come out and balance. So again, opposing limb, and you're gonna hold for approximately 10 seconds. All right, and then you're gonna come down, reset, and then the opposite side. Now it's called a bird dog. Again, it's a tricky one to get. A lot of people have a balance issue left and right on that. Uh, but it's gonna remove all those autopilots, get that intramuscular communication going and move that left and right in balance when done correctly. So when you do all of those movements together as a warm-up set, you're gonna get a really good activation work. You're gonna get some really good balance work. So that's, sta that's like a stage one. That's why I'm doing it as, as first part of these streams. That's your first stage, and that'll actually get everything warmed up and moved, moving, especially if you don't have decent uh, glute or muscular activation, that's gonna start rebalancing some of that for you. All right, so look out for part two. If anyone's got any questions, drop a question in there. Remember, you'll be able to see this video on our YouTube page later on, Live Life Your Way. Uh, when you go to the YouTube, remember, uh, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll find us on Instagram, Facebook as well. Have a good, safe day. See you on the next one. So guys, remember, <clears throat> okay, so today's part one. Remember to hit that subscribe button today. You want to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you get notified of all the videos as soon as they come up. Uh, check out some of our other videos for some more uh, exercise techniques and exercise work and all of our motivational vlogs and our all of the vlogs for the stuff that we do in our uh, in our studio here. So any questions, any comments, drop them below. I'll do the best to answer them as soon as, as, soon as I can. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. And enjoy this video today. I hope you do.